In this video, we will show the rebuilding of an Otico Model 21050 2 inch pressure relief valve. Additional information on PRV disassembly, inspection, and assembly can be found in Otico Inc. Engineering Bulletin EB002. For this job, you will need the following tools a vise with the ability to grip the valve body, a large Stilson wrench, a large crescent wrench, a pair of pliers, a mallet and small hammer, a small piece of tubing for bending the stem and shear pins. Note, when clamping the valve body in the vise, use care to avoid damage to the nameplate and exposed threads. For the rebuild of this model PRV, the minor repair kit has the part number 140250. There is also a major repair kit available for this valve that includes a replacement stem as well as a replacement bonnet. The contents of the minor repair kit include one replacement stem cushion, one replacement sub o-ring, one piston kit that includes a half inch cadmium plated washer and 3 16 cotter pin. Unscrew and remove the safety cover. It has right hand threads. Remove the shear pin and stem pin. Next, use a large crescent wrench to loosen the valve bonnet. It has right hand threads. Unscrew the bonnet from the valve body and pull out the assembly consisting of the bonnet, the cushion ring, and the stem assembly. The stem assembly can be pulled out of the bonnet and cushion ring. Use a large Stilson wrench to unscrew and remove the liner sub from the valve body. The threads are right hand. Remove and discard the liner sub o-ring and replace it with a new o-ring from the rebuild kit. Next, remove the stem cushion from the bonnet and replace with a new stem cushion from the repair kit. Note, the stem cushion should not be removed unless it is going to be replaced, as removal will likely damage the stem cushion. Additionally, care should be given to ensure the replacement cushion is oriented correctly so that the pressure side marking on the cushion faces away from the bonnet. Next, secure the stem assembly in the vise. Use a rag or wooden blocks to prevent scarring of the stem by the vise. With the stem secured, use a hammer to drive out the cotter pin. Remove the cadmium plated washer and piston. Replace the piston, washer, and cotter pin with those from the piston kit found in the minor repair kit, and secure the cotter pin in place. With the valve body secured back in the vise, apply grease to the threads of the bonnet and screw the bonnet back into the valve body. Before installing the bonnet, make sure that the valve stem can pass freely through the bonnet. Apply grease to the stem and insert the stem through the valve body and into the bonnet. Apply grease to the piston and liner sub. Use the mallet to gently tap the stem assembly back into the valve body and screw the liner sub back onto the valve body. Tighten the liner sub on the valve body with a Stilson wrench. And tighten the bonnet using a large crescent wrench. Install a new set of shear pins into the valve and reinstall the stem pin.
Finally, grease the safety cover threads and screw the safety cover back onto the valve body.